Hello and welcome to this video. Because every website has a contact form, I will show how to create a simple contact form. Wappler has made creating forms super easy and it is a bit embarrassing to devote a video to such simplicity. In Wappler, I start with a blank bootstrap 5 page. As usual, I start with a container. Row and column. In fact, three columns one for each of my intended examples. In the first column, I will create a horizontal form, the second column, a vertical form and end in the last column, a vertical form inside a card. In the first column, I place a heading. The heading text can be anything to your liking. However, I will leave the default value. After the heading comes a form. Inside the form, I place a horizontal text input. This is for the name. I then duplicate the text input for the email. Below the text inputs, I insert a text area for the message. Last of all, comes the button. Here we notice that there is not enough real estate for the label text. This can be rectified by increasing the width of the form or by increasing the width of the label. If the width of the label is increased, we also need to decrease the width of the input field. Whatever, it means extra work and time. In the second column, I add a heading as before. After the heading comes the form. Inside the form I place a vertical text input. This is where I speed the video up to avoid you getting bored due to repeats. When finished, we notice that the width of the form is not a problem. The form is longer than a horizontal form which could be a problem when there are many more form inputs. If that is the case, you could always change the form labels to floating labels. See the video on floating labels to see how to do that. In the third column, I add a card and remove the parts that are not required. You may well ask, why a card? A card is a flexible and extensible content container. It includes options for headers and footers, a wide variety of content, contextual background colors, and powerful display options. If you're familiar with Bootstrap 3, cards replace panels, wells, and thumbnails. Similar functionality to those components is available as modifier classes for cards. In case that you have not noticed. I am great fan of cards. Right. On with the task at hand. Inside the card and after the heading, I place a form. Inside the form I place the vertical form inputs and the button. For this I speed the video up. When finished, we notice that the form now has a border. This gives the form a much more contained look. Now that I have convinced you to us a card for your forms, just joking. Using a card is a personal choice. Despite that, I will now remove the first two forms and concentrate on the third form. The actions taken here will also apply to the other two forms. First a bit of housekeeping. I want the form centered. For this, I choose the row and select horizontal align, center. Then I choose the column and set the width to 6 columns. The column width will need to be adjusted for smaller screen sizes. The heading is changed to something more meaningful. The help texts are removed. The label texts are changed.
As a last modification, I changed the placeholder text. For the text area placeholder, I need to go to the DOM panel. When finished, we see that the form now looks exactly as I had imagined. Now for the functional pars of the form. First in line is the button. At the moment, the button is of type, default, which means that it does nothing without further instructions. The other two choices tells the browser to either, submit the form or to reset the form. I choose submit. Then there is the form action attribute, telling the server what action to take once the form has been submitted. Server actions are outside the scope of Bootstrap. Therefore I will set the action to return to this page. The form method attribute is set to post. Explaining the difference between get and post falls outside the scope of this video. Let's test the form to see if it functions as intended. The form submits even when the form inputs are empty. Not good. To fix this, I will add validation rules to the input fields. I go down to validation rules. All I need is a, required attribute for each of the field. The email field gets an extra validation rule of, email. Although not absolutely necessary in Wappler, I can't get out of the habit of saving a file. When I now test the form and try to submit an empty form, I get error messages that the fields are required. The email error message even tells me to use a proper email address. Once the field have been validated, the form can be submitted. It is important to note that these validation rules are client-side only. This means that they can easily be overridden. This validation is merely a nicety for user experience. Further validation is required on the server. We now have a contact form that is ready for server-side actions. Which leads me to my favorite component, the card. As I said at the start of the video, a card can have a header and a footer. So, Let's get cracking. Here I select the card body. Before the card body I add a card header. Then I grab the current heading and move it to inside the card header. Refreshing the page shows the result. Selecting the card body once again, I add a card footer. I then move the submit button to inside the card footer. I can now choose to place the button in the center. I'll also center the card heading. But let's have a bit more fun with the button. I remove all of the padding of the card footer. I then change the button to block level. When I now test the form, I see that nothing happens when I click on the submit button. This is because the button is no longer inside the form. The browser does not know which form to submit. To rectify this, 
I select the button and change the type from Submit, to Default. The browser now needs to know what to do when the default button has been clicked on. For that, I go down to Dynamic Events. Here I choose, Mouse and Click. For the instruction, I tell it to submit the form. And we are done. Testing the form shows that all is well. And that is it. I could end the video here were it not for my passion for the card. Without commenting, I will change the style of the heading and add a background color to the card. And that is it. I hope this video has been of use. My name is Ben Plesier. I will continue to create more videos like this one. If you want to stay updated, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.